Hey guys, back again with another quick hat tip. And uh, in this one, I'm going to be using this hat that my friend recently sent me as a gift. It was pretty awesome of him. Surprised me. Didn't even know he was going to do it. Uh, and it was meant to be a beater hat because when it came, it was filthy. It was covered in a bunch of old, you know, decades of dust and dirt. And it just looked lighter with white color to it. And uh, so far, I've got it pretty cleaned up. Um, you can still see some stuff on the brim. This is this is warm felt, so I'll steam it and and work the fibers in together and try to get it a little bit um, more uniform. It, this there's almost a hole worn through here, and you can see a bit worn through the crease. So when I do bash this, I'll probably just give it a similar crease to what it had. Um, but so far, it's as clean as possible. The band is all faded from the sunwear. And if I wasn't planning on using this as a beater hat, if you look underneath, it's pretty much the original color. Look how dark that black is. And I have before on, on another hat um, taken the ribbon off and flipped it and flipped everything so that you could see the original color and then reinstalled re it. But I don't think I'm going to do that on this one because I think I'm just going to leave the patina on it. With, and I can't do that with this and on the edge anyway, so it kind of matches better. And I'm really just planning on using it as a beater. So I, I kind of like that look, but I did clean up the felt so the felt, felt looks much cleaner. But this whole video is going to pertain to a certain problem that I do have with the hat. And that is, you'll see this on a lot of old hats, especially the old 50s hats. This is probably late 50s, right into the 60s almost. Um, but on hats of that era, the men like to wear a lot of grease in their hair. And so you'll get a lot of that grease on the liner here. And this one was really sticky. You could actually feel it on your forehead. And it's kind of grossing me out. So <clears throat> I wanted to clean it. So what I would normally do to clean something like that is take the liner out and, and hand wash it with some laundry detergent like OxyClean or something like that. But uh, usually it'll be either base stitched in or it'll be glued in. So uh, this one I can see it was glued when I lift. But if you look here, if you can see those little stitches, those stitches are actually what's holding the ribbon on. And I don't want to have to deal with all of that. So I tried to think of a way, how can I just clean this liner without taking it out? And um, I thought of something and it worked pretty darn well. So if you look on this side... This is the clean, uh, the dirty side, right? And then this is the clean side of what I already did because I obviously wanted to test my idea before I shared it. So it's really simple actually, and I think you guys will enjoy this. All I did was uh, I found these heavy duty hand wipes at the 99 cent store or something like that. <clears throat> and it says it cleans oil, grease, dirt, and more. And so I figured, hey, why not try that? I also, did get these disinfectant wipes. The main ingredient in it is alcohol, which won't really damage the liner. Um, but it didn't work that well because it dried too quickly, didn't clean it as well. But these wipes are meant for cleaning, you know, greasy hands and whatnot in the shop. And it actually works really well. So all I did was, you know, take the wipe and I put the hat on the edge of the table just so I can have some reinforcement behind it but you just take the wipe and you know wipe it clean like you're just trying to wipe it and I'll just do look look at just from that bit already got some good amount of grease and grime off of it and a lot of times I won't even really clean the liner a lot of times I'll just disinfectant spray the inside of the hat like you would some bowling shoes or something like that but this one you can really feel the grease and the grime on your forehead and it was all sticky <clears throat> so I decided to try this and it worked pretty darn well see all the grime coming off now you can see it looks similar to how it did but that's just because it's wet as it as it after it dries it'll look a lot better here i'll do a portion here and all i'm doing is just wiping it off and 
And as I do this, I do flip the hat and make sure that, because this is wet, so I'm just making sure it's not bleeding through the liner and, and wetting the felt and being noticeable there. Even if it is wetting the inside of the felt, that's not too much of a problem. But <clears throat> you can see it's already much, much cleaner than it was. And, and it, you just let it dry, let it sit and air dry when you're done. And it's actually much, it's, you can get it pretty darn close to clean. So I know it seems like, oh, wow, what a simple thing. Common sense or something like that. But really I didn't, I haven't seen anybody mention doing this. And so I thought I'd share it with you guys and hopefully that helps. All right. So happy hat cleaning.